Hello everybody, welcome back to another Lost Ark video. We're doing another daily video, as you can tell by the title, the tittle, the titillating title. Uh, yeah, I literally just logged on, so I'm doing this as well. Enjoy. You get to see everything from start to finito. The titillating uh, titties, titty, titty game. This is a titty game. Let's be honest. Uh, let's start up the Unas. Swap over to Nightmare. I'm already on Nightmare. Is there a party I can join? Maybe that one. Let's see how she goes. Uh, and yes, I am doing my Arcana. My Arcana is the last character that I actually play as a gold earner. I skipped over my Sork for obvious reasons, because I don't like that Sork. Sork kinda suck ass, man. Okay, I guess we're not in this one. What about any anything else? Anything? I mean, that's a decent party. 1600 DPS, we like that. 1600 DPS attracts supports. Yep. Now we wait. Because we're gonna go in. Surely. We get some Sonavelli. Sonavel. Sonavel. Uh, but Arcana, yes, me Arcana. I'm playing Emperor, nothing crazy. Level seven gems because I'm not rich. I don't have it like that, unfortunately. I would like to get this character to level nine gems though, because I do enjoy it quite a lot. Then the rotation is also very smooth. Once you get the muscle memory down, which I think I finally have it down for the most part. I don't really have to pay too much attention playing this class no more. Something that I really like about Arcana. Obviously, the fact that you have a lot of buttons to press. So if you want a class that has a lot of stuff to do, Arcana's a good one for that. Uh, but another thing that I really like about this class is just how good Arcana is, like, in general for utility. Uh, Emperor, I guess, specifically, because I'm not 100p on Empress. But Emperor has very good stagger, has very good weak point. Has a very good counter. Has good range. Like, this class is just... If you're good, you can definitely utilize it to its full potential, and its full potential is quite good. I like classes that can bring a lot of utility to the table while also not being, like, completely useless and worthless in the DPS department. And honestly, the stagger department. The stagger just seems like it keeps getting more and more important as we go. And I mean, honestly, Emperor has kind of it all, Thebes. That's why I've always been like, I don't know why Emperor does so much damage. Or like Arcana in general does so much damage. Uh, I know Empress doesn't have nearly as much utility, but I still don't think it's bad. But Emperor is something else, man, and I really enjoy it. Also, the rotation feels really smooth for what it is. Because it's like, I don't even have to think or, like, watch rune stacks or anything. You'll always have a four stack after you press the same amount of buttons in the same order every time. So it's literally just a muscle memory of pressing the buttons in the right order. If that makes sense. And I do like being able to do cool stuff with um, the cards, the draw, the draw cards, the card draws, if you will. Because you can do cool shit like that. I mean, that wasn't even that cool, but I just Wheel of Time Dark Return with a Sovereign and just did a fucking nice little chunker of damage. We like chunky damage here. 
At least I do. I think we all like chunky damage to some degree, though. And that's also why I want to upgrade this class's gems. Because even with level 7 gems, it does very good damage, but... Obviously, level 7 gems just ain't gonna be cutting it no more. If I want to be doing the big damage. Which I think we all aspire to do. Uh, let me finish up my Unas here, and then we'll run our Chaos Dungeon, and that'll be that. Uh, Chaos Dungeon clear is not, like, the greatest. Um, you have to fish for Emperor cards, obviously. And if you're Empress, you obviously should put on Emperor just to add Emperor cards to your pool. Uh, and this is also a class that I've swapped to Betrayal to very, very early on in my, my lifespan of doing Chaos Dungeons. And it's like, you know, if you know me, you know if I swap to Betrayal, then the, the Chaos Dungeon clear definitely leaves something to be desired. That's okay. And that's not to say that this class's Chaos Dungeon clear is bad or anything. It's just, it needs the help, you know, if that makes sense. Go to Night Market, finish our last daily, and then we'd be Audi. Well, we'll be any, any, the Chaos Dungeon, that is. A sweet and sour cocktail makes you hungry. Very cool. The vegetables and bread go together perfectly. Could not have said it better myself. But, this is the Chaos Dungeon Clear. I usually just start with an Awakening straight away, just because why not? It's fun. And then you just cycle your abilities. I don't change my build or anything, because I'm way too lazy for that. I'm sure, like, every class there's some abilities you could change to make the clear even better. But... I never have felt like I needed to do that. Because it's like I said, the clear isn't bad. It just... it needs the little bit of help. And at the point that I'm at right now, I think it's fine. Uh, if you're Empress, though, you probably do want to swap over to, like, a proper AoE build. But if you're Emperor, you don't really need to do too much, aside from swapping uh, to Betrayal, IMO. Because it's like I always say, the thing that's going to make me clear the Chaos Dungeon faster at this point isn't going to be, like necessarily my ability to kill monsters it's gonna be my ability to pay attention to what I'm doing like focusing up is gonna make my clay S dungeon go faster not changing like this or that you know but that's just like my opinion man because at the end of the day I'm just lazy I've always said it I have always said it, man. And I'm team if something is not broken, I am not about to try to fix it. But I mean, we're basically at the end of the Chaos Dungeon. You can see, though, it didn't take too long. Maybe like two, three minutes, as always. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Uh, some raw Arcana gameplay, Emperor specifically. Uh, that's the last gold earner on my account. So it'll be a while before you see any more of these videos again. Oh, no. Or... Oh, no. Am I DCing? The game has been doing that recently to me. I don't know if uh, other people have been dealing with it as well. But just add it on to the list of cool stuff about Lost Ark. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you all in the next one. Um, yeah. Thank you to my YouTube members, my Tier 2s, Blitzel, Remix My Life. I'm Nufu, Arizet, Clouded, Jacob, and all my Tier 1s, It's Biscuits, Ender, Diz, and Arturus. I'm Audi. Peace.